ஹாய் எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் டு யாகு தமிழி திஸ் இஸ் த கண்டினியூட்டி வீடியோ ஆஃப் அவைலபிலிட்டி செட் இந்த ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோ வி ஹவ் டிஸ்கஸ் த குயிக் இன்ட்ரடக்ஷன் அபவுட் அவைலபிலிட்டி செட் அண்ட் வாட் இஸ் த டிஃப்ரென்ஸ் பிட்வீன் பிளான் அண்ட் அன்பிளான் மெயின்டெனன்ஸ் இஃப் யூர் ஸ்டில் நாட் வாட்ச் தட் வீடியோ ஐ வில் ப்ரொவைட் த லிங்க் ஆஃப் தட் வீடியோ இந் த டிஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் ப்ளீஸ் செக் தட் வீடியோ பிஃபோர் கோயிங் டு சி திஸ் வீடியோ நவ் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி வில் சி ஹவ் அவைலபிலிட்டி செட் ஹெல்ப் அஸ் டு ப்ரொடக்ட் ஃப்ரம் த அன்பிளான் மெயின்டெனன்ஸ் Um, before going to this video i will give like to give quick recap about unplanned maintenance assume that with uh, with the same example we have discussed in the previous video we are started the new startup company called converse data solution for that we are like to host one website for our startup so we are uh, choosing azure cloud uh, to host our services assume that this is our website uh, company website we are hosting directly into the azure once we are hosted into the uh, azure we can directly we can able to ac- access our website from the public internet people who can like to see our website they can able to access from the public internet but so uh, so assume that this is hosted in the azure data center right uh, that is nothing it is actually our website is hosted and run it is running inside the hardware inside the hardware inside the data center so assume that this is the hardware this is running inside the azure data center so assume that for this hardware uh, we we need to give network connection right because our server is available in the internet so we ne- we need to provide continuous internet connection likewise we need to give continuous power connection likewise uh, we need to give cooling system everything so this things combination of this only it will make our service available in the public internet then only people can able to access our website so if there is any if there is possibility if anything happen to the network cables example as in the network cables are disconnected so if anything so what happened there is no network supply to our server so our server will be down so people cannot cannot able to access our service from the public internet like is uh, if anything happened to the power connection power outage or something so then our server will be down so on that case also the people from the public internet cannot access our website so to avoid that most of the business scenario what they will do they will create another one replica same replica is nothing but the same website they hosted in the two different servers assume that this is server 2 same replica with the same configuration same website so why need in case the people cannot access this particular website still they can able to access this website so what we have to do means we have to host in the different hardware example assume that this is the hardware which has in the power connection network connection right assume that this is uh, this is came from the uh, root one assume that this is came, all the network connection power connection come from the one likewise we we need to host another one website for the backup if in case goes down we need to make our service available so this also we need to host inside the hardware running inside the azure data center right so but this one is different from this one assume that this also has different independent network connection power connection cooling system so this one should be differ from the this first one so what happen in case if anything happen to this network or power outage still it should be available because this has different network connection power connection so this one in case the this due to any failure the people can directly access our second backup uh, website so we need to before hosting that we need to tell to microsoft right so i'm going to upload uh, going to deploy my website with the two copies if so so you should place this two different uh, two different server in the two different hardware which has different power cooling system independent cooling system so if anything happen the first one so still our server should be available in the second one so we need to uh, inform right to microsoft so so we for that only microsoft provide on option called availability set so with the help of availability set we can instruct the microsoft people to deploy my website in the two different hardware so for that they provide in inside the availability set we have an option called fall to domain with the help of fall domain we can able to instruct the microsoft people to host in the different place so in fall domain we can able to create up to three fall to domain nothing fall domain one means nothing 
assume that this one right uh, has different independent network power cooling system right assume that this is fault domain one likewise assume that this is different fault domain different network power connection this this both are independent so if anything happens still it will be available so this is fault domain two likewise we can also create we can also host our another same website in the different hardware so this also which has different network power cooling system so this is the, we can tell fault domain three so there is not uh, compulsory we should create up to three fault domain we can create up to one also we can create two or three but there is no use for creating only one example only one we are creating only one website if anything happen to this particular uh, connection network connection power connection so our server will be goes down right entirely so people cannot access so we, we make sure we need to create at least two or more services in so with the help of ability set we can able to make in case we are creating two backup but there is no ability option then what happen there is a possibility the second backup copy also the they can have possibility to host inside the same hardware which has this same network connection power connection so the, if there is power connection issue so the both the backup copy also goes down right so that's what uh, Microsoft identified and they created an option called availability set with the help of availability set we can make our uh, same identical services in the different hardware has different independent connections I hope you got little bit idea how availability set help us to protect our services from the unplanned miners the same thing we will see with one example so assume that this is the server rack 1 this is server rack 2 this is server rack 3 each server rack has different network power connection is independent connections network power cooling system likewise this one network power cooling system network power cooling system so each one is different assume that this is fault domain one fault domain is one is nothing but the server rack which has different power cooling system so this is fault domain so so if there is anything happened to this particular server rack it will not affect to the fault domain too likewise we have fault domain three. likewise they have multiple servers but we have only option to create up to three fault domain only maximum minimum we can create up to one or two so this is uh, up to our point of view so now how we can able to make our service with the different uh, server rack so assume that we are creating our website company website kind of solution website we are created we are hosted into the asset by while creating the virtual machine we have to choose availability set inside the availability set we have to choose fault domain one while creating this virtual machine virtual machine or anything any other server we have all uh, ability set option inside the ability set option ability set option we need to choose fault domain one so microsoft automatically understand so we need to place in the first uh, server rack so so they will place our virtual machine website in the fault domain one so the people from the public internet they can start able to access our server here but there is a case if we stop up to here we are not creating backup resources. What happened? If anything network issue happened here or power connection, something the entire server rack will be goes down. So our website also down. So the people cannot cannot able to access our website. So that's why we need to create another one backup copy. Assume that this is the second same replica, the same configuration, same website. So we have started in the another virtual machine. While creating this virtual machine, the same ability set we need to choose in the same ability set we instead of choosing fault domain 1 we need to choose fault domain 2 in case we choose the same fault domain 1 this, this also it is going to host in the entire server rack so if any power connection or something happen the entire will be hosted so we make sure we need to choose fault domain 2 so microsoft people automatically create this particular server in the fault domain 2 so 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 this what happened so if anything still the server network connection or power connection is failed in the first one still our server will be available in the, this server right so the people can able to access to this server so this is uh, this is what we can able to protect our uh, service from the unplanned maintenance with the help of ability set yeah friends i hope you understand how ability set help us to protect from the unplanned maintenance in the next video we will see how ability set help us to protect from the planned maintenance yeah thank you